And we're back. Happy Friday. Rocco Taco Mining. Friday morning. I don't even know what day it is. November 19th. Rolling along. We're at 57,388 down. I think the high last couple weeks ago was 69. So, anyway. Dip, dip, dip. So, what I want to go over today is we are up and running. Things have been stable. After uh, lots of, not maintenance, but just uh, hand-holding to get these things stable and finding out what's working, what's not, is I have my rigs. Again, I do it all by hand right now. It's all through Google Chrome Remote Desktop. Uh, most of these are tethered through a network port, network switch. Uh, one, I think this guy is, uh, has the USB dongle, the wireless, for access. So I use that, but they're all up and running. Uh, these are my various <laughs> rigs. Uh, the top two are the most complete. This is an old gaming PC. This is, uh, let's see, what is this one? MSI X470 Gaming Plus. And this number five, yes, is, the, uh, is also the X470 Gaming Plus. And that is wrong. I actually just stuck on a Ryzen 9. So let's change that. I always change it because you'll always forget. And the reason I stuck that in there, I got these before they sold out or got jacked up in prices, the Ryzen 9 for the uh, Raptorian mining, the CPU mining. And that's, I'll show you that in another video, but it, it's working. I think I'm at 10 bucks a day on a, you know, I have one powerful CPU, that guy, and a couple older ones running and uh, it adds up to 10 bucks a day i just check it's like five cents now raptorium so that's where i'm at on that so what am i getting at here so why a lot of reading a lot of research not reading oh yeah reading online checking other people's trial and error my trial and error what keeps my gpus up without crashing stuff like that and i found a sweet spot for me because i'm not using hive os or um awesome mine or whatever to monitor my stuff i just do it old school because you know, i work from these computers and i can keep an eyeball on them and i will get emails if stuff drops off from ether mine or not if i lose a worker you get notified says a worker has dropped offline and you can check it but most times i'll just eyeball this and say oh we're up and running and uh go from there so getting here some stuff wasn't stable i'm trying to figure out why it just goes toes up and what happened and most times you you'll see this go gray and then you can't remote in anymore and you're going oh it's still it's still running it didn't crash what's going on i don't got a blue screen uh, i usually just figure the overclocks are off or something spiked on the gpu which just caused windows to to die or seize right mostly it seizes and i just have to recycle the power and come back up restart the miner and you're good to go right so what I did find, I was running, uh, where was that? 370 Ti has been brutal for me, is getting this guy. He just wasn't stable at all. And he, would, he would start thrashing and spiking up in voltage to uh, in the high twos, 250 in watts from 150. Uh, now it's been holding, it's all kind of a little choppy. But he's been good now. Look at that. The 370 has been stable at 144. And they just said I lowered it. They said usually a power wattage of 150 on a 370 Ti LHR. And here are my current settings. 50, I lowered the clock because it would go, it kind of would just seize up the windows after maybe an hour or so, or just random. And I don't know what was happening. And I did go down here to the curve editor in MSI Afterburner. I just put it at 875 because this thing would jive, I mean, this thing would jive all the way up to um, 250 watts. And then I come back and look at this and the voltage would be way up here, you know, like what the heck is, why is this thing spiking? And that was new to me that these things could just almost run rogue. It's like, that's not good. It's just this, only with this 370 Ti. So that's usually dialed in. So having said all that, I've been babysitting this, learning, tweaking stuff. Uh, haven't blown any GPUs up yet. Uh, they've been stable. And uh, basically I've, dialed in my clock settings comfortable for me some people want to burn those things to the max and get the hash rates i just want these things to run steady be the workhorse and just so i know i don't have to babysit them every hour i can just check and say oh if it's down just reboot but in general everything's been up and up and running 
So here are my clock settings. Um, what I do, I have a 1660 to start with, and I put the brands, and you can see them right here. I'll zoom back. Uh, pretty, pretty stable. 1660s are super, I mean, uh, stable. The laptops I have is a Dell. That is stable. That is a 3060 in it. A Lenovo is awesome. Those laptops, they're stable. They, whoever wrote the stuff, I mean, the hardware is stable. They get hot from the cards and that, but they don't crash. They're pretty well managed. And you can see my settings on those. I don't think I set the Dell one because there's not really much to set. And I think if you look at it, yeah, it's just zero across the board. I just run it at is, and it's fine. I mean, it's 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 giving me what the 3060 is 40 hash rate, just out of the box. I mean, that thing's a trooper. The Lenovo is another trooper. That Lenovo, Lenovo laptop has a 1660 Ti. I am now started the uh, crypt Raptorium mining on it as well. And I'm going to go check on that because I don't want to overtax that guy, but it, it's out there running. And so what is the newest stuff? The uh, 6600, I had an issue with that. I had original settings from, from a couple sites. I was seeing what they did and tweaked it to get 32 hash rate. And now we're about 32 right now, the 6600 XT. I had a change of guy came in and it dropped down to 20. I had no idea why. It was the same settings. I restarted the systems and re restarted MSI Afterburner. Again, it's just one of those things you just live in, you know, you observe it, you watch the trend, you see what's going on. And I just said, I got to find different settings. And now it's been rock solid, stable. And I'm also, I'm also CPU mining on that. And that's right here. You can see, I just got two cards on this because this is the, the um, wood frame I built. And I got two in there. I had the 3070 in there, but that thing was just wild running rogue. I stuck that thing on its own motherboard just to monitor it and isolate it so it wouldn't crash these other two. Uh, the the uh, system where these other two are running. So there you're running. This is running off um, nice hash, dagger Hashimoto, giving me some yummy Bitcoin. And this is the this is the actual CPU mining. And this is the Ryzen nine, the thirty nine hundred X. Is that right? I got to remember, man. I just I, I get all these things confused. Thirty nine hundred X is running right there. So that's running. Boy, your battery sure goes quick when you're filming on an iPhone. So there's my settings. Um, I put the hash rates and I put the total mega hash. I'm about 862. My goal is one giga hash, but uh, I've decided to sell my 13060 Ti. I got new. It's still sealed. I wanted to see what I could get auction on eBay just to see if there's actually the resale value in GPUs and what it's like. Some of the 3080s and that, you don't make money back at all. It's like they call it a brick. You, you don't break even. You probably lose money. After eBay takes their fee out, their 13% tax, you get you know you're pretty much losing money. But the 3060 Ti, I've seen auctions that you get it for 500 bucks or so. People are flipping them for nine high nines. I go, that's not a bad return on investment. Uh, maybe a couple hundred bucks even after the uh, eBay tax. So that's where I'm on. I, you know, ideally I love to plug it in and start getting some hash out of it. But I just want to recoup some money now because the bills are adding up when you start buying all this stuff. It's like anything, anything in mining, even the old days, who makes money off of mining? Not the miners. It's the people selling the equipment, the, the picks, the shovels, the wheelbarrows, the hats, the lights, you know, the bags, the wagons. It's not the guys mining for gold. It's the actual people mining or suppliers who are making the money. Look at NVIDIA. Uh, I've been watching that stock. That thing has gone to the moon. So that's all I got. I got my clock settings. Things are stable. Uh, we are rolling right along. And I don't know what else to talk about. I think this is pretty good. I want to I want to definitely get some more GPUs eventually. I got uh, two motherboards coming. Again, I've been buying those X470 Gaming Plus Max. And I think I have another Ryzen 9 coming, my second one. Uh, I do want to, like I said, sell some stuff like that 3060. And use that to help pay off some of the bills on the, the CPU. And uh, I got to get some power supplies today because I just don't want to keep daisy chaining and waiting oh i need this i just got to prepare my orders better now so they all come in and then once thanksgiving hits no one's going to be able to get anything it's going to be you're going to see a supply chain massive shortage on everything i, I suspect from food turkeys uh to christmas gifts xboxes ps5s digi and disc models gpus of course other people have helped me out with their settings so i post my settings as well just to show you it's stable some people may say burn hot i burn harder i don't want to this is good for me it's stable it's making it's making me um 
it's chewing up some resources and it's making me some coin, right? And still waiting on some payouts. Thanks for watching, and we will find this dog and take him for a walk. Where is that dog? Out.